guys and welcome to Right City Cop. Obviously you can tell by now that, going by the thumbnail and the title, that I want to talk to you about Emre Chan and Liverpool's situation regarding a contract. Um, obviously it's been public knowledge that Emre Chan has refused to sign a contract with Liverpool in recent months. I think Liverpool have been trying to negotiate this contract with him for about 12 months. You know, what's that say about Liverpool? Um, Reports coming out in the last couple of days are saying Emre Chan would like a, a, a wage around £100,000 a week, which I personally believe Liverpool would not be reluctant to offer him that. Obviously, with the likes of Emre Chan and uh, the likes of Dejan Lovren getting £100,000 a week, Emre Chan is definitely a lot better, got more potential, and just an all round better player. So I, I don't see that being a problem. But I'm sure you've all read the articles as well. It's apparently down to not having a buyout clause. Emre Cham is insisting he wants a buyout clause in his contract. Um, obviously, Liverpool um, signed Coutinho on a new five-year contract last January um, without a buyout clause. And I think seeing the whole saga going around Coutinho this transfer window has probably made Emre Cham go, look, I want a buyout clause because if I want to leave, I don't want to have to, you know... Not well, you know, be it down to you guys. He wants the balls to be in his court. Whether if it's his agent, whether it's Emre Chan, again, I'm not too sure. But it's it's a problem that definitely needs to be resolved. He's arguably one of our best midfielders. He's had a blistering start to the season so far. He can he's been playing in the number eight role. I know his preferred preferred position is that number six role, but he's scoring goals, he's getting assists. He's still young. German international, got a great engine, great potential. He's arguably, he's, he's coming a real fan's favourite at Liverpool. I have a lot of my subscribers, a lot of the people I've been talking to about regarding Emery Chan, really don't want to see him leave. They really, really rate him. And I think the, the kick in the nuts is if he goes on a free. You know, losing that sort of player, that sort of quality, ability on a free is just... It does your head in. It really does your head in. Because obviously we're wanting to build this squad and obviously we want to keep our best players. Emre Chan is one of them. For me, I, I could see three midfielders I'd rather see leave than Emre Chan leave. That's just in my opinion. Um, obviously we know Juventus, all this transfer window all summer long, have been interested in signing Emre Chan. It's been coming out there in the last couple of days that Manchester United, as well as Chelsea, are uh, sniffing around him and are really interested in getting him if he goes on a free. You know, if these sort of calibre of teams are going in for this player, you know, what's it say about the player? It, 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 it shows you everything about what he is about, his potential, his quality. Um, you know, if it is down to a buyout clause, the thing is, I don't understand is, because Liverpool would surely just go, OK, yeah, we'll give you a buyout clause, here's your buyout clause, 80 million. You know, so obviously it must be his agent trying to negotiate the buyout clause to be as minimal as possible, which obviously that doesn't benefit Liverpool because... You know, I'm sure Juventus would come in for an MA Chan for 40 million because they're fairly in today's market that is fairly cheap, especially with his ability. Um, so whether that's the argument and whether that's the case at the moment, we'll have to wait and see. There's been reports saying that at the end club would rather let him go on a free than sell him, um, which I, I couldn't get my head around <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this does get resolved because it really does need to get sorted. It needs to get sorted quick. Um, because I see Emre Chan being a real vital part. Imagine Emre Chan and Naby Keita next to each other in midfield. Oh my god. With either, you know, Lamar or a Coutinho, with Mane, Salah, Firmino. Oh mate, devastating. Absolutely devastating. So to be able to lose that potential, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So maybe give him, give him what he wants just to keep him. Just to keep him. Because, you know, even if we give him a small buyout clause and we do well in the league, we do well in the Champions League. You know, who's to say if these play teams do come in to put out his buyout clause doesn't mean that he will leave because he's in development. And I think a lot of it's down to game time for him as well. Obviously seeing Naby Keita coming in as well, that's another person to fight for the midfield. You know, we've got Gruich, um, Lana, Henderson, Gini Wijnaldum, Coutinho. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some. Um, yeah, I probably am, so I do apologise. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see why he's, he, there's question marks on the, on the matter. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments guys what you think to that, what you think about Emre Chan and the contract situation, if it was you would you let him have the buyout clause he wants, would you try and negotiate a higher buyout clause, are you happy to let him go on a free, um, let me know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably be thinking how I'm thinking, it'd be interesting if you're not, um, obviously also some other news as well, um, Jose Enrique, obviously the former Liverpool left back, we bought it from Newcastle for around 
six and a half million in 2011, I think it was under Brendan Rodgers. Um, he's announced his retirement, 31 years of age due to an ongoing knee injury. Um, it's a massive shame, as much as when he first came to Liverpool, Jose Enrique, I had real high hopes for him. I can always remember that assist for um, Luis Suarez's goal against Newcastle. If you haven't seen that, type in um, Jose Enrique assist Suarez. Honestly, it is fantastic. Obviously, I think Suarez makes it look amazing, but the assist is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I had great um, optimism for him. I thought he was a really good set left back at um, Newcastle. And I thought his beginning years at um, Liverpool was decent as well. Obviously, under Jurgen Klopp, Jurgen Klopp eventually got rid of him. I think it was down to the injury situation with him. He was consistently injured with his knee. He then went back to Spain, I think it was, and then he retired. He got released last year. Or the end of this, end of last year. So then, obviously, he's gone into retirement. It's a massive shame. We don't want to see any player get retired due to injury. Um, we wish him all the best of luck. He's only 31. He could have still played if it obviously weren't this injury. Apparently, he was saying he wasn't training. Um, every time he would play, his knee would swell up like a balloon, and it's taking three days for him to just be able to walk. He was constantly on medication and stuff like that. You know, it sounds it sounds terrible. No one actually would like to go through that. So we wish him all the best of luck in his retirement and yeah, thank you for putting on a Liverpool shirt and giving you all your best. Obviously we all know that he's an Instagram sensation, he loves a selfie. So um, yeah, let me know what you think on Jose Enrique, Are you, uh, are you, uh, did you like him, did you rate him, let me know your ratings on Jose Enrique, I, I, there's a lot of people on the fence about him, and like I said, when he first joined the club I, I thought he was decent, obviously towards the back end of the career, obviously it may have been injuries hampering his performance, we don't know, but it seems like it's that's the case anyway. So yeah, let me know what you think about Jose Enrique. Let me know what you think about the Emre Chan situation. Um, I love reading your comments. I'll be in the comment section after the video goes live for a few hours. So make sure to hit me up in there. Uh, like normal guys, if you could smash the like button. Also smash that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Um, also, I've got two links in the description to a Facebook account for Outer City Cop. As well as a Twitter account for Outer City Cop. Um, if you go on Facebook, type Outer City Cop, you'll find it. Vice versa for Twitter, if you type in Outer City Cup, you'll find it. Um, go follow me and hit me up on then, guys, because them social media platforms will be getting pushed a lot more in the recent weeks. Um, my t-shirt for the logos with the merchandise on it will be coming. It's getting sent out today. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I can come and preview it for you guys on the videos. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. That's pretty much it. If I do get a live stream later, I'll post it on Twitter to make sure, like half an hour before if I go live. Um, but yeah, thank you for taking, taking your time and checking out the video, guys. Hope, hopefully, 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 we'll see you in the next one. Take care.